The Boat is a small indie movie that only has one actor in it and was made by just a few people. It didn't get an MPAA rating, but I think I know what it would have been rated. The Boat is a movie that was written and stars Joe Adepazi, and it was also written and directed by Winston Adepazi. I'm assuming they're brothers or some kind of relatives. It is a movie about a guy who takes his motorboat out, and when he gets deep into the ocean, he finds an abandoned boat. He goes onto the boat, and then he loses his motorboat that he came on, so he spends the movie trying to survive and get this boat back to land. It doesn't have any violence, or as far as language, it doesn't really have any language in it, except he says, oh god, a few times. It honestly doesn't really have anything as far as traditional rating descriptions go. It has a lot of peril in it, because while he is on this boat, it's not working correctly, or it runs into issues. The movie is pretty calm, and not much happens up until he decides to use the bathroom of the boat and he finds out that once the door closed he is now locked in the bathroom and everything he tries he can't get out when he's locked in the bathroom and trying to get out he notices a ship coming his way so he really intensifies his trying to get out of the bathroom and he's waving stuff out the window, trying to get their attention. And the whole scene is pretty intense with his desperation. And eventually he notices that the boat he's in is steering towards the ship. And he ends up crashing into the ship. But I guess it just kind of goes off. Like they don't stop and check what they hit or anything I guess. But then he runs into a storm, and so he's trying to steer the boat through the bathroom window and tries to cut the ropes and move the sails, and it's a pretty intense scene of him trying to cut it, and then he gets thrown from the waves. There's a couple times when he cuts his hand open. I'm actually pretty impressed with how much this guy knows about boats. And he actually does a really good job of actually steering this boat from this window. He eventually gets the sails down, and then he's able to just ride out the rest of the storm. The whole scene is pretty intense, and could be scary for some younger viewers. When we get to the next morning, there's water up to almost his neck. So this is where he finally gets out of the bathroom. The whole scene is kind of intense, but not as intense as the previous scenes. He makes a raft so he can go out into the water to make sure that if the boat does sink, he's at least has something to float on. He notices another ship at some point, and so he decides to try to use the raft to get to the cargo ship. As he's rowing towards that, the boat just naturally steers towards him, and he ends up having to abandon the raft. And so now he's stuck in the water as the boat drives off. He waves there for a while, and... He hears something in the water, but it turns out to be dolphins. But they swim away after the boat comes back. So he gets back on the boat. So the whole rest of the movie is him on the boat. And it's showing that something could be there messing with him. Because he gets locked in a small compartment again. As the boat is nearing land. But eventually... The boat stops at the pier, and he gets off, 
But then the boat floats away by itself, which shows that some kind of entity is steering the boat. Like I said earlier, there's not a lot in this movie that would get it a higher rating as far as language or violence or any other kind of themes. But there is a lot of peril and unsettling scenes in this movie. So because of that, I feel this movie would get rated PG-13 for peril. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like so YouTube can start noticing my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos based on why movies got an MPA rating or what rating they could have gotten. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at MovieMortalYT. Thanks for watching.